Welcome to the map Forts of Eisen in BFMU on patch 2.22 for a replay commentary in a great matchup between great players. Between the white Rohan player Rangel and his opponent, the green model player D4K, going for double Orc Pit technology, capturing this Lumber Mill over there. And his opponent in the meantime is gonna split up the peasants. One of them is gonna go to the settlement over here. I think he forgot to capture this, so he needs to walk back. And his Hobbit Mary and one of his peasants are leading to the top side. And also he will potentially recruit two more peasants. Yes, sir. Recruiting two more peasants for extra pressure. And Smeagol is not recruited because when you go for Smeagol after two Orc Pits, you will be kind of poor. So you need to hope that these two Orcs are gonna help you out a little bit. So it looks like you want to go for the Creeping, but I think the punishment will be kind of big. But Ron is kind of a bit slow there. So he might get the creep done and that's gonna get the orcs to rank 3 actually. And they can even deal with this guys over there. Rank 3 orc warriors. Super strong black orcs get the money. Which will help him quite a lot. And that's the fastest creeping I've ever seen actually. Kinda greedy. But I think he will get away with it. He might even get rank 4 after that one. No he won't. But the rank 3 orc he should send him back. To not lose him. I think in exchange to that though. He will lose his lumber mill over here. But that's fine. Because the money you got from the creep. Is actually quite a lot. He's gonna creep even more. With the orcs. Creeping the entire map actually. And Rowan is gonna try to sneak one of his peasants. Through the bottom side. In the upcoming patch version 2.22. This strategy will be nerfed a little bit. So the orcs will deal a bit less damage to the creep. So making it a bit more difficult for them to creep. Because right now Mordor has no weaknesses, you know, in the early game. Probably by the time you watch this video, the new patch version is going to be out already. So, with that being said, hopefully Mordor is not going to be kind of crazy strong like it is right now. Because look at the beast, boys. He's going for double furnace, not going for the slaughterhouse. So he's not going to go for the for the uh, troll cage. Because if he does, the trolls will be super expensive. You need to pay the full amount. Hobbit is doing a good job though, chasing those Haradrims down. And the peasants will get the chance to commit also to the, to the Lumber Mill number 2. Actually, the start from Rohan was also not too bad. But Mordor is just taking too many creeps. So the Rohirrim need to make sure that they can't creep. Going for the bees is risky because he has a tower there. But that's what Rangel always does. And when you do, every, when you do that always, your opponent will expect this, you know? So now the Rohirrim lost a lot of momentum and they let those orcs pass freely through which will mean another creep for Mordor which again means a greater start into the game that should never be allowed you know you don't let them pass freely while you are watching with your Rohirrim. So the money and the creep was taken by Mordor that's great for him because he will get easily quite easily actually to the industry power spike after taking down three creeps in total. That will orc, meet, orc pit means you will produce every 30 seconds more and more orcs. Industry is going to be quite helpful to fill up the bees. And also to go for outpost control eventually. Because he's about to take the creep number 4. But I think this one is going to be at least denied from his opponent. Um, you don't want to trample like this though. You could just press S and then kill them in melee. Because the trample cost them now 2 hit him from the, from the battalion. Which is not super great. That's going to be actually the first creep from Rohan. All the other creeps so far were taken by Mordor. Which is the main reason why he has so many power points collected. He basically collected 3 power points already. And that's going to be another creep for Mordor. So Rohan is making a lot of mistakes. Also he's the on-host player. Mordor is a very good looking beast. I think he want to go for the troll cage. No, he's not going to go for the troll cage. That would be kind of surprising. Because again, he would pay the full amount of money. He has no food bonus whatsoever. And uh, I'm assuming he want to go for the outpost control and make sure that he will recruit enough rune soldiers to... Oh, he's going to put him inside. Oof. The timing is great for, for Mordor, not that great from Rohan. And the creep remaining is going to be at the bottom left side, which hopefully will be taken by Rohan. So when you see the strategy, and I think he's aware that the Mordor player went for the, for the furnaces in the base, 
then you need to know that he's planning to go for a Nazgul rush. So you need to be kind of smart about it. You don't want to go for the upgrades as, Ar as Rohan though. You want to go for heroes. You want to go for Aragorn. You want to go for Gimli. And basically, these three heroes can do great. Like Aragorn first, Gimli second. Because Gimli is capable of chasing down and catching the rune soldiers. And also, uh, Aragorn can do the same. And Legolas can of course do that too. But Gimli is just cheaper than him, you know. You basically save 600 resources and Gimli has also a great scaling into the lead game. When he's rank 5 with the leap attack, you can even kill trolls. That's how strong leap attack actually is. Because Mordor is gonna spam a lot and a lot of rune soldiers for the map control. And unlike the Isengard pikemen, the runes are not that big against peasants, so you cannot counter them. And if you, even if you could, the runes won't be alone. He would have always some orcs with them too. So... Gimli can easily handle the situation, uh, so does Legolas or Aragorn. But of course, going for all three simultaneously is something Rohan player can simply not afford. The outpost control, I like that. Uh, I like that one though. But you need to protect it because if this army goes to the outpost, you will lose the outpost. Because Aragorn is on the opposite side of the map. And that's what you can always do as Mordor. Try to be active on this side of the map where Aragorn is not. Because he will be busy for a long duration dealing with this outpost over here. I mean, he's gonna do it, but it's gonna take him some time. And now the army is rotating. The Yeoman archers, they have too many targets. They cannot destroy them before they destroy the well and the statue. But they are dealing good amount of damage, as you can see and tell. Eye of Sauron will be used. The rune damage against structures is not that high, though. But the orcs, on the other hand, can destroy this statue in a second. Most important thing is to not dis uh, feed this. Because if they destroy this, they will get rank, rank 3. That's going to make their damage even greater and higher. Oh, they got rank 3. He demolished it way too late. But, uh, you know, he's fine. I'm just worried about the power upon advantage from Mordor. Because he already unlocked the devastation which will give him a big chunk of resources and he already has 4.2k in the bank that's gonna be a very early and super fast Nazgul rush Aragorn was able to capture the outpost though that's great for uh, for Rohan so double outpost with, re with arches inside of that will make you kinda protect this for a little bit at least Aragorn is gonna go inside the bees and destroy the Zita that's what Aragorn is famous for he can do that that's gonna delay the Nazgul quite a bit Mordor has to now reinvest the money into rebuilding this Sitter. And, you know, Aragorn should do this over and over again, but without the heal from the Spellbook, which is on cooldown, and the Atelas from his abilities, he has not to sustain to tank all of these towers one more time. Because everything is going to shoot at him, even the Furnace rank 3. So what you want to really do is take care of the map control. Peasants are going to deal with the Rune Soldiers, no problem. And the second you see the enemy Nazgul, you want to go for uh, Eowyn and also Legolas, you know. But now he's feeding a lot, actually. He's going to use the Tainted Land, which, you know, he basically could cover. The question is, will he cover this one or can he cover this one, maybe? This one and then put it next to the base. But I would cover this in either case. If you don't cover this, Mordor will just keep spamming more and more lands. So at some point you will be forced to cover this. But I can understand that he's trying to rush the Cloud Break. So be careful with the Rohirrim Warriors. That's great. Mordor is losing map though. That's good, good for Rohan. He actually got kind of back into the game though. After the rough start he had. And Fire Arrow will be purchased. That's going to make the Archers deal way more damage. And I think the plan is to not go for the Nazgul. He want to go for the Witch King. Which makes way more sense by the way. If you can afford it, always go for the Witch King. It will cost you a minute or two. But it's worth the waiting time and it's also worth the extra resources. Because if you go for an Asgul, you will still have to go for the Witch King. So it will delay your final um, build order and final strength a little bit. How rich is Rohan though? I mean, I think he's not that rich because he just recruited one archer and demolished it right after to replace it with a farm. No Grand Harvest, going for the Armory. I'm not respecting really the potential Nazgul or Witch King, which you should. That's why you should go for heroes. These two heroes are essential. Eowyn and Legolas. Super important. 
Don't feed this uh, arches in the tower with your Oryx because they will level up faster thanks to the statue. And he's also demolishing the archer range actually, which is ultra greedy, you know. I don't like this. Like, I don't like this either. But map control is looking good for Rohan. But Witch King is gonna change quite a lot. Quite a lot, actually. So Rohan has to use the momentum and the map he currently has to get all this stuff done. Rohan is one of the factions that requires a lot of resources to get to the final build with plenty of Rohirrim Arches. Remember, he has not the strength with the Eoma leadership, but he has Aragorn leadership in... in uh... Ooh, but he's gonna get out, though. Like, 10 seconds to lead. Uh, unlucky. He might even die now because they have leadership from Witch King and also from the Eye of Sauron. Does he heal from the spellbook? He does, so he's fine. Aragorn is a tanky boy. He's the exception to the rule of Boromir that one cannot simply walk into Mordor because Aragorn is definitely capable of doing that. Legolas could be nice. Eowyn, Legolas. It's a great combination. You can't kill him, by the way. You just can't. He's gonna make it to the well easily. Oh, now they are hitting hard though. Look at these archers. Stage leadership, which king has to respect this. And now, what is the plan? That's the question. Because if, if he goes for the for the troll cage, he needs to pay the full price for that. So which king has to be used for map control first. And hopefully it will be enough to stall the game. Eowyn has been recruited. Eowyn has been recruited. No Legolas. He went for armory and forge blades, heavy armor and banner. All of that will be purchased. What Witch King could do is to go and kill these archers, you know? What can they do? They are clumped. That's gonna be a one-shot. Well, look at this. No well for the regeneration. This is not gonna work out like this. He's gonna kill all of these archers with ease. The Screech. He's gonna cancel the tower because he doesn't want to lose money. That's why you need Legolas for consistent DPS. Level 1 Lego is not gonna deal too much damage to the Witch King, but it's all about hitting him over and over again. And when you damage him, he will also not be able to regenerate his HP back to full. He's gonna go for the Mumma Kill Pen in Haradrim Palace. That's not a build, bad build order because the Mumma Kills are not affected by the food bonus. They always cost 1500 flat. You can't reduce that or you can't increase that. So in this situation, you can either go for the trolls and pay 1200 for each troll or you go for 300 more resources and go for the Mumma Kill Pen instead. I like actually this build order from this model player. I think it's quite interesting, something we don't see very often. Aragorn doing his stuff. Eowyn looking to smite the Witch King. And Mordor Orcs are everywhere, so that's the reason why he has so many power points collected. Even after picking the Devastation, he has already gathered 6 power points in total. So he's only 1 power point away from the Darkness. The Drummer Troll would not affect the Mumma Kill anyway, but Darkness and Witch King do. Oof, 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 so close. So close, actually. And um, Mumma Kills are... Ultra strong units, but remember their lack of mobility can be bad. And Rohirrim Arches on the other hand have the mobility advantage, so they can hit, run, and it's gonna be difficult for you to get a charge attack done, which will be devastating. The only downside for Rohan, and that's the good part for uh, Mordor, is that he doesn't have the Eoma leadership on level 4. If Eoma would be level 4, this Witch King there would be 100% dead, and Mumma Kill will get bursted down in a second. But Eoma is only level 1, so he needs a lot, a lot of experience to get ever rank 4, which will be quite difficult to achieve. Haradrim's on top of the Mumma Kill! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh, foo, 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 foo. Aragorn has to be careful. The Mumma has no more charge. Now he has to be careful too. Uh, remember, he went, he didn't go for the. They are dying though, they have no heavy armor, they have finally heavy armor now. Or oh, level 2 Eowyn, the last hero you want really experience on. I mean, it's not bad though, because remember her abilities are scaling with levels, so Smite will deal more damage the more levels Eowyn has. And also she's, she's gonna get more tanky. You can also use, use this ability by the way, that's gonna make you a bit more tanky.
kill him. Oh, he's gonna die. Is he gonna die? Yeah. Oh, Ilma! Ilma got the last hit. That's huge! That's the best case scenario. The best case scenario would be if Theodem would be close to Ilma as his spear throws, but I take it every day of the week, boys. You know, the rank 4 is such a massive upgrade now for the Rohirrim army. Aragorn was going... Aragorn is dancing with the Mumakis over there, by the way. Kind of simply walking into Mordor. <laughs> toying with them a little bit. What is he doing? I cannot stand alone. Nobody forced you to stand alone, Aragorn. I don't know what he meant, actually. Maybe he... He didn't pay attention, obviously, but I don't know why he didn't pay attention to one of your most important heroes ever. And you can also keep Aragorn with your Rohir March army, which will make them deal 50% more damage. It's an essential leadership. But you want to use the momentum of Witch King being dead to punish him. 3 minutes and 30 seconds, it's a very long revive time. But you want to use this in your favor. Mumu kills have now darkness. Devastation is going to be available one more time very, very soon. It's going to be used now. He can go for another Nazgul if he wants to. Just to have a bit more map control presence. You can see the runes are getting melted now because of the Leoma leadership. And if GC is going to be available, that's going to be even another 30% more damage leadership. The armor really doesn't matter against units like Mumakias. But it's about the raw damage power. It's you being able to burst them before they can ever charge to you. But you don't want to give them too many Mumma kills though. He has three Mumma kills. This is the Mumma kill daddy. Rank three, the one who actually killed the King LSR before. And if you ever get the Mumma kill pen to rank three, um, it will produce the Mumma kill starting with level two. Look at this peasants at all. Level four peasants are eating those rune soldiers. Holy guacamole. Cloud Break available, 3 power points on top of that. Rowan has the control of this map. But again, the Mumma kills are always dangerous, bro. They can always turn the game somehow around. One of these sneak units that have the capacity of making unbelievable things happen. Impossible, impossible mission force. The Nazgul... Using the mobility advantage, being able to fly over the rivers. Of, of Obviously, you can't follow him. You can't chase him. Witch King almost back on the menu, boys. Four Mumma kills in total. Mumma kill pen level 2. Faster production speed. 47 seconds now instead of 55 for the Mumma kills to come out. Aragorn is also almost back up on, back up on the field. Again, you can place him next to the Rohir marches. Then they will have in total 40, 70, 50 more. Look, the damage output is kind of crazy. But the Mumma kills have to be careful. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Darkness has been used. Okay, now you bail. Now you bail. You have no shields on them. They have actually shields on them. But everything is shooting at them, bro. Mumma kill is getting angry. But he's gonna get away. The outbreak and darkness both used. Lots of lanes which negate leadership effects. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh! All the Rohan heroes eaten alive, boy! The Mumma kill rank 5 technology! Let's go! I told you, Mumma kills are evil to turn it around! Oof, 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 what a big oof! What a big oaf boys, I don't know what to say. I mean, that's a micro uh, mystique from Rohan. Um, he should have not lost the Aragorn at the first place. He should always uh, cover the land. Look, you don't, like, look at this situation. You have no leadership here, you have no leadership there. Not here either, not here either. You can't allow him to have like five lands on the map Forts of Eisen and you don't cover a single one of them, which basically gives him the chance to use it more and more. So the longer the game goes on, the more times he will be using it again and again and again, which creates areas and places in which he is stronger and you, my friend, are much, much weaker. 
but without leadership, this Haradrims on top of the uh, with leadership, I mean, against with, against no leadership, these Haradrims are melting. Look, without fire arrows, you just don't deal any damage to the moment kill. Darkness is still available, by the way. That's gonna be another feeding action. Oof, the damage! You see the Haradrims? Pew, 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 pew! Going for the bees? Are I, what? Don't, don't! Okay. The one and only. Like in the films, the one and only. Oof, this. He's so strong, he's so strong, he's so strong! Ah! Jeez, did he lose everything again? He did. And he did, Gandalf. Look at the minimap, boys. Mordor is taking over the map, by the way. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, boy. This is not fun anymore, I think, for all. And he's gonna hate this game after this one, boys. Does he have money though? He has money. He can revive all of that. He should revive all of that. This level 5 peasants though, eating those runes. Holy. Almost EOD by the way. But almost Balrog too. I mean, he can still win the game though. Even when he revives all of them, plays a bit more patient and controls the outpost. The EOD is capable of winning this game for you. Mumukilpan is almost rank 3 by the way. Almost. I mean, not almost. He needs like still three more Mumma kills, but then it's gonna be a bit more difficult because if Mumma kills are ranked two, they have more HP and more durability. That's all they need to survive a bit longer to get the charge attack off. The outbreak is gonna be used. He doesn't revive his heroes anymore, boys. Yes, plenty of Rohirrim archers. Um, recruiting them over and over again from the stable rank 3. They come out quite fast in 18 seconds. Mordor is building an army worthy of Mordor. Glowing, shining bright like a diamond. More Mumma kills will be recruited. Is the game bugged or something? Ah, I think my game bugged, boys. I don't know what happened. I think my game bugged. No! I wanted to see this so bad, boys. I don't know what happened. I don't know who won. But I will make sure to know it. And I will let you know in the comment section down below. So sad that the game bugged out in the last five minutes into the in the in the replay, boys. Anyways, I hope you still enjoyed the Mumma Kill monstrous actions of the game. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.